Welcome to the second of our reflections upon the Lord's Prayer that we're having during this time between Ascension and Pentecost. Today we are looking at your kingdom come. For throughout his ministry, Jesus declared that the kingdom of God had come. He told many parables to reinforce the message that his kingdom is present with us now and he performed many healings and miracles to show that it has come in power. But where was this kingdom? The Jewish authorities had taken his claim to mean a physical kingdom, as did Pilate at Jesus' trial. But as Jesus pointed out to Pilate, his kingdom is not of this world. And this is the second paradox of this prayer, that his kingdom is now and not yet. It is for this reason that we pray, your kingdom come. So who are the members of this kingdom? Jesus was revolutionary and described them in his Sermon on the Mount as the poor, those who mourn, the meek, the hungry, the merciful, the pure, the peacemakers, the persecuted, the insulted and the falsely accused. These are the blessed members of God's kingdom not exactly the type of people that the Jews thought of as being in God's kingdom. Where were the religiously pure? The rich, the powerful, those who are blessed on earth. There is nothing inherently bad about being blessed on earth, in the same way that there is nothing inherently good about those who Jesus described as blessed. They are blessed because they are the ones who recognise God's kingdom when they see it. This was the good news that Jesus preached throughout his ministry. It is the same kingdom that the Holy Spirit is still making known to us today. We recognise that we still live in a kingdom that is now and not yet as we pray. Your kingdom come. For the time is coming when God's kingdom will be here on earth, not just in heaven. Now a pause to reflect upon those words and upon your kingdom come. And then I will close with a prayer, and we will then follow that with the Lord's Prayer. Well, Father, we thank you that your kingdom, the one that Jesus came to bring to this place, this earth of ours, is not just for now, but it is for the future as well now and yet not now father we pray that you will help us to hold faith in you to be able to live now as if we live in your kingdom that will come amen so being made one by the power of the spirit as our t savior taught us we pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 